What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some Rim World. This is the Ice Sheet Challenge on 1.1. We're going to let her warm up a bit, and then we're going to send her out. We're going to start bringing steel over here. It'll get her outside. Eight without a table. F you. D-bag. All right, now. Should be, we're going to see. I believe we can make it over there and back. We might have to drop it when we get close. Nonetheless, we, we should be okay. She just lost her shivering. Look at how fast that goes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> And we're not going to dally here. Let's just drop it and go in there. Bam. Success. And I think she's seeking warm temperatures. Off the bed. Food's really low. We're doing okay, though. It's going to drop because of this, but we have power. 37 meals. The key is to see if we have the materials to get set up to make everything else we need here. And I'm tempted just to build the other room we're going to want. But you have to keep a close watch on your steel, at least until you get your smelter up. Not that there's really anything to smelt. So I think our next run is going to be down here. I can just leave. Oh, did she only take 25? Oh, maybe there was only 25 there. There's a dead person in a Rim World shirt. Okay, so there's the other 50 she was carrying. Oh, totally used the table that time. That's fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get this hauled out. Maybe she'll do some wreck. Nope. Just going to walk. Yep, she is going to do some wreck. Oh, God. We can't let that get too much higher. <laughs> And inside. It's been extremely challenging considering the gear she starts with only has her good till 43. And right now it's negative 134. So our next move is going to be... Do we need more wreck? I wouldn't really hurt, but we're okay for the minute. All right, perfect. So let's get out. You know what? Let's get these two built just so we can leverage both of them and don't have to... Oh, good. She's going to bring that over. Um, yeah, that's actually a good spot for that. All right, that's fine. Back inside you go. And forbid, and go about your day, and how bad did you get it? Almost 20%. See, so, just a lot of micromanagement. Later on, you got to micromanage the crap out of the power, especially when you start having zits. But for now, it's enough to micromanage your temperature situation. Okay, so let's... The fact that she put that down inside is really frustrating. So get... Oh, my God. All right. This time we're just going to keep doing the same shit over and over again until <laughs> we get it figured out, I guess. She... Oh, did she take those meals outside? No, good. She's got one in her pocket. She did take the rest out. We had left a bunch in there, I thought. Cargo pods, dear Lord. It's chocolate. Hmm. Now that's intriguing because it's food and it's wreck. And I'm pretty sure, because I know we just grabbed something that was here, so it's close enough to get. We're going to go for that next. And that's a ton of slag. Okay. So, all right. She wants to go get a meal, but we're going to make her come get this chocolate. The doorbell rang. Perfect timing for that. Usually I would ignore it, but with everybody keeping themselves confined to their homes right now, it seemed a little weird. Uh-oh. We can get up to 62. She might get frostbite here. Good God, run. There you go. Allow. Close. I'm going to disallow this one, too. I don't want her leaving the chocolate somewhere stupid. Now, I want you to use the table. Use the table. Yes. <laughs> uh, she did get up to minor. So she doesn't have eight without a table right now. So there you go. And she's eating chocolate. No, use the table, dude. Use the table. Pick up the chocolate. Pick up this chocolate. There you go. 
If she eats the chocolate, that actually helps her wreck, but not very much. It's kind of a waste of the food. All right, we can probably get that chocolate put outside. Let's check her health. She's still shivering. We are going to make a run for th these next. And then I think after that, we are going to go for these. That really is a game changer. I mean, that makes this, that solves our steel problem for a little while. Now, it doesn't solve the fact that we have to build a smelter and be able to use it. She has the most horrible crafting skill on the planet. So there's that. All right, gear. Ah, uh, shit, we sent her out with that stupid chocolate. Come over here. There's still chocolate all over the room. Come over here. Come in here. Disallow this. Let you go about your day. All right, off to bed. Perfect. Needs. And the chocolate is totally fine. This stuff, it is deteriorating. We're going to lose the kibble, I'm sure of it. We're not going to get those things walled in before then. Slept in the cold. That's an interesting one that... 21 hours of that bullshit, too. All right, well, she's well rested. Do you have a meal in your pocket? No. All right, we're going to have to come outside and pick up some meals, too. So let's just go pick all those up. Let's come inside. You better not put them down right away. Disallow that door. Nope, can't eat there. Can't eat there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tedious, but it's working for us right now. So there you go. And we should run out and get some slag. I feel like I wasted that last run by having her have that chocolate in her pocket, but it is what it is. So then health. Also, shit, she has four chocolate. That's going to prevent her from carrying something here. Son of a bitch. All right, let's come straight over here. Don't screw around. It's been a while since we got frostbite, so we're due for some here. I like that you can just pause it and drop all the crap she's holding. And in you go. And no more frostbite yet, which is impressive. Awesome. So there's one chunk over there. We still need to get this steel. There's, a, there's two chunks over there, actually. That one might be a bridge too far, but maybe not. And then we want to get that too. Really, we're just doing this so we can do our construction in a couple minutes. So when she recovers from this mess. Oh. So when she's doing this, I guess that's giving her wreck and food. So you can't complain. That chocolate's kind of a godsend. I guess more so the steel. Why does this think it needs to be carried somewhere? Something's gone a little weird. Maybe the way I dropped it or something. And needs. Everything is awesome. Let's get moving. I think we're going to come out and see if we can nab these two. There we go. 15. We might just have to turn around. She's going to go for it. <laughs> uh, it's not a big deal as long as we don't get frostbite. I'm just going to send her straight. No, nope. You know what? You can just drop it right where you are. And get your butt inside. Perfect. So in this little room, it's negative one. It was negative one twenty-eight. We're gonna be done with this research in no time. The chocolate really is awesome. She'll get sick of it, but that's all right. And we should be watching her health, so we know when we can get out again. All right, that's amazing. Let's make sure it's paused here. <laughs> I don't like that it... Oh, she's eating without a table. So what's going to be the next most beneficial thing? Like, it would be nice to be able to make... Well, we can make complex clothing, so that's fine. Sterile attire, military clothing, work attire. I don't see anything... Okay, I have some mods installed here, clearly. <laughs> Drug production, gunpowder. We're definitely going to need that. 
And this stuff's a long ways out. There's no geothermal on the ice sheet. Packed survival meal we don't really need because everything freezes. Maybe solar panels? I don't know the validity or efficacy of solar panels in 1.1. They were kind of shit in the last version because there just wasn't much sun. So it might be worthwhile, but it might not. So we should probably focus on something that we know is worthwhile. Carpet making we know we'll definitely want at some point. So we're not going to have the blocks to make floors. I think, though, we know we're going to want guns, too. Geothermal, or most all this stuff we're going to want at some point. We could just start heading this way because we know we're going to want it. And we need a comms console, so that seems like the best thing to do. All right. I hope you didn't just get an eight without a table in that second. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Uh, let's see. Health is good. All right. Well, the baby started crying, so I just had to make sure the recording wasn't picking that up. And it seems like we're okay. All right. So let's check your needs. And let's come get some steel. Jesus. Like the second <laughs> goes minus 16. This is so painful. Oh, gosh. Yeah, she wasn't able to carry all that. And stop what you're doing. Drop all that and go inside. Ooh. Let's see how close we got there, because we have to go back down there. Yeah, so we had a little bit of leeway there, but not a lot. And... Nope. Nope. Yes. <laughs> That's so frustrating, man. But look at that. All positives. Despite being shivering. It's going to have to recreate, but hopefully in the morning some chocolate will help with that. Because she's going to need food, too. Whew. All right, what else do we need to get? We need this stuff. I mean, this stuff can really just sit where it is, right? This we need. It's 57. That's a significant amount. And there's 150 over there. So from here to here versus from here to here, it seems about equidistant, and I feel pretty good that we'll be able to get it. Ah, awesome. There, that took care of two, two issues. Now... Let's head that. Uh, okay, we don't need to be drafted for this. Let's head back south and watch the needs. If you had somebody sanguine, you'd be always way higher because you'd have a plus 12 on top of what we already have here. And where are we at with this? 40%. All right, we're going to stop and go inside. I'm not sure how the frostbite thing works. It's negative 150 something. That's pretty damn significant. Oh, silver. Oh man, if we had a miner, we could mine it because we can build with it. So right now, that's our priority. We can make silver walls. <laughs> I'm still tempted to make a silver bed, but up. Oh. That was not what I wanted you to do with that. I should have dropped it outside. That was my oversight. Now we have to screw around for another little minute. All right, so get that hauled outside. Oh, I hate that she took that out there. Drop it. Uh, I can't get you to pick it all up. Nope, no can do. Where is it at? Maybe it's... Nope. Consume. All right, where are you going? Oh, she doesn't have any... No, you do have meals. You know what? Piss on it. Just come over here. <laughs> Drop that. Pick up all that. Where are you at right now? 6%. Come haul these. Oh, my God. That's brazen. That's real brazen. Draft up inside 
So I think our focus should really just be grabbing the stuff that's far away. I like that now she's using... Nope, that is not a table. That is not a table. Not a table. Not a table. There's a table. <laughs> that's such a hack. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, so we need that. We got all this. And there's this. So... I think we'll try and get that, and then we're going to focus on our expansion. We have hydroponics. In fact, we should probably get on top of that sooner rather than later. I want to build a smelter in the room where the hydroponics are. That's probably a shit plan, actually, because we're going to be opening and closing the door a lot. I'm going to have to think on what the right move is there. I guess in the meantime... We have 268 steel. We need to go get the rest of the steel. If we just did this right away, we're going to have to move all this shit out of here, actually. <laughs> so let's have a zone dumping. I don't know where the smelter is going to end up. Let's copy, paste, delete. The reality is... I think we want to do that. And I think we want a door here. So we should be able to pop the hydroponic bays in there. Basins. So we could do something like that. And then door there. That's 200. How are our components fairing sitting out like this? We should be okay. What else are we going to need? We're going to need two heaters. Probably are going to have to build another. We're going to have to run the power over here. And hopefully that's sufficient. If we had steel in here, we could build those from the inside. And what else do we want here? We want one on the lights as well. So, it's under furniture, sun lamp. This can be moved later, so it's not critical where it ends up. All right, and you know what? Probably in our best bet to put it down here for now, and then we can actually get three of these bays in. This one can cancel. This one can go here. We can't put our door here, but oh well. So that, I think, is our goal. Now. <laughs> We don't have the power for that either. So I think we almost have to build the smelter next. Can we uninstall this? Take it outside? Start smelting? I think that's going to be what we do next. All right, so get rid of that. Get a bunch of shiza hauled around here. Okay, probably didn't need to do that, but that's okay. Go ahead and draft. What are you carrying? Nothing. Pick up all that chocolate. Um, We need 160 something steel. Pick up as much steel as you can. And go inside. There you go. We will forbid that door. Nope, don't hold it open, whatever you do. And production electric smelter. I'm going to forbid it for the moment. We do have a bunch of steel, so she should build these. And then we're also going to want a little cheater connection somewhere that's not connected to anything else so we can shut things off without having her have to do it. There you go. Thank you for eating with a table. Drop your gear so you can build all the stuff that you can build from the inside. Are you still hy hypothermic? You are. I don't want her failing any of those. I know she's going to be kind of bored while she's in here, but I guess it is what it is. It's just a little bit of wasted time, but we need to get the smelter done. And we need to get some steel smelted. Okay, now we can allow that. Ah, she won't do that one, huh? No, sir. Okay, next. Now, <laughs> this, let's allow it. And let's 
I keep hitting hold open. That's going to bite me in the ass here. Let's get supplies brought in for this. How many components does that thing need? It needs two. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a whole lot of screwing around. She's probably really cold by now. All right, so we will disallow that. Tell you to forget what you were doing. Check your health. Yeah, you were at minor. Uh, nope. Not going outside either, my dear. Hey, she used the table. And that's because there's an open spot next to it now, all right? Like, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, we got to get that chocolate protected because that stuff is awesome. Like, you get food and you get wreck. You can't complain about that at all. I got to check the time here. Okay, we do have a few minutes here. So I'm going to allow her to build this. Cross our bloody fingers that she doesn't botch it. What's her bio for construction? She's getting there. Five is certainly better than it could be. Now, this thing sucks a ton of power. So we're going to reconnect down there because the wind's not blowing. We're going to add our bill. Smelt apparel, destroy weapon. All right, so we are going to smelt metal from slag forever. We're going to have a very little re sensible radius. There. Now, that's going to net us a ton of steel. We're also going to tell her to drop that on the floor. Excellent. Needs. Well, cheers to the patrons, Dirtle Dave, Corneal B, JT, Seamus, Michael Rakestraw, Wake Mata, Frederick Dapper, Go, Jallison, Yallison, not sure if I'm pronouncing that one right, Henry Wallace, Alexander, Tyron X, Typhios, Viking Brandon, Blaze, Dalburn, Dr. Ape, Jay Sakane, Shiggy, and President Lux. You guys are all amazing. You make my mods and my playthroughs possible we're not going to go over here these bodies are going to be here for a billion years i should just take the clothes off and make her wear them but so things left on the map we're going to need gear before we can get to these we're going to need a miner before it's worthwhile to go after this so really it's just those two chunks of steel there's a piece of slag sitting over there she's going to be super super slow at this too so it's kind of going to be a drag but next time we will carry on I think we might go get the steel and build these walls straight away. And then maybe put our door in. And then we're going to have to do the heaters. And then we can do the bays, but keep them turned off and the light. The light's really cheap relative to the other stuff. We're running short on components too, but there are three of these buggers sitting out. So that should get us around 18. No, scratch that, 24. I think you get eight per typically. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave comments, like, all that stuff. I'd very much appreciate it. Also consider getting over on the Patreon. Just a buck or two a month makes all the difference to me and virtually no impact to your bottom line, right? So please think about that. That's all I have. I will see you guys next time.